Hey, we're going to be talking today about Mitsubishi's Mini Split HVAC system and how we use the three head system to do all the heating and cooling in this ultra efficient house. All right, so we just completed this super efficient house with local architecture firm Rouser Design. We utilize the perfect wall concept for this house. Check out my other videos or blog posts about this. But in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the Mitsubishi heating and cooling system we used in here, and specifically four things that I like about it. So we're talking today about what's commonly referred to as a mini split system. This head on the wall right here is connected to a compressor on the outside and there's no duct work. Everything is contained within that head for both heating and cooling. And in this particular house, we actually have three of those heads in a couple different places, two downstairs and one upstairs, that are all connected to one compressor on the outside. Now we could have done more than that. I think you can connect, connect up to five heads and you can do a combination of high flow and low flow and mini split heads on the same compressor. But in this house, it really made sense to do a three head mini split. Again, these are ductless and each one of these is self-contained. So the only thing we needed was to put a Freon line to each location and an electrical line. There's four things that I like about a system like this and the heating and cooling that it gives to this house. Number one is control. Each one of those heads has its own uh, controller. So this little remote right here is telling this unit on the wall what to do. Both heating and cooling mode is set just from this unit. Number two is efficiency. Check out my other videos for more information on their VRF technology, but here's the basics. The compressor on the outside is fully variable. It's using a scroll technology so it can vary its capacity. So this compressor in particular is a two ton unit, but it can run from 10% of capacity all the way up to 100% and just about any increment in between there. If you compare that to traditional HVAC equipment that's either running at one speed or two speeds, this is light years ahead. The next thing I like about this system, as I mentioned, is it's ductless, meaning there's not a, a central unit with a bunch of ductwork and a bunch of registers on the ceiling. Each individual unit is contained separately. A couple benefits to that. Number one, in a house like this where we've got very interesting architecture, we don't have to worry about where we place those vents or where they go, running ductwork or hiding ductwork. It also makes the install very easy. This house was installed in the rough stage in one day and they trimmed it in one day when the house was finished. Very simple. Also makes for a very cost effective system. The last thing I really like about these Mitsubishi systems is how quiet they are. Both the compressor on the outside and these heads on the inside are super quiet. I've got my sound meter with me and the sound meter cuts off at about 40 decibels. Let's see if we can get a reading on this head from about a foot away from it. I don't know if you can see in the video, but we're below 40, which means this unit reads as low. That's incredible, especially being that close to the unit. When you're sitting on the couch on the other side of the room, you cannot hear it running. Very, very impressive. Hey, for more information on these systems, I've done a bunch of videos. I've also got a, a bunch of blog posts on my blog at mattreisinger.com. Otherwise, I'd love to have you follow me on Twitter or Instagram. We'll see you next time.